What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to talk about the new Polystep Sequencer Player. Essentially, what it appears to me is to be a sequencer that is in the rack, so it prevents you from having to flip back to the sequencer, the main sequencer, if you don't want to. So I'm just going to basically make a beat and demonstrate everything that I picked up from it so far. Um, up here, I'm going to change my key to D sharp, and I'm going to leave it at minor, but I actually want to do it in harmonic minor. So I'm going to switch that. And here, I can change my start note to transpose, or I can just double click to get my notes in. So I'm going to go up an octave here, I'm going to come back down there, and then let's go here. And I'll drag it down. I actually want it there. Gonna hit the run button so we can see what it sounds like. And up here you see I have eight patterns and for each pattern I can get four variations of that pattern. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go to edit, copy notes in variation, and then I'm going to come here and paste. And I'm going to change something in here, perhaps add a couple extra notes. So, my first variation, my second variation, and we could turn it on auto switch. And in that case, we need all three variations full. And this allows for us to have longer patterns. So we can make this pattern four variations long if we want to. And then we can make the next pattern for variations long if we want to, so we can have really long sequences, given that's what we want. So I'm actually going to turn this off, leave it on the first one. Here we can change the rate as well as the steps. MIDI transpose is going to allow us to play our MIDI keyboard and transpose whatever is placed in here. So if I play an F, it'll transpose this melody to an F. If I put it on latch, then I don't have to hold the note anymore. It'll just stay there. I'm gonna keep that off. And let's go ahead and make a new, a new instrument. Let's go with another instance of Europa, which I cannot seem to locate. Uh, Reason Devices Europa. Gonna grab the player. Uh, where'd it go? Polystep Sequencer. Put a new instrument in here. Let's go with Serpent. And let's put some chords in this one. So I want this to be D sharp as well. Harmonic again. And we can use this to scroll up so we can view more of the notes we want to look at. And I want a D sharp. And in order to make this a chord, I simply click in the right, the top right corner of the note and drag up. And it automatically makes the chord for me. So, cool. And then I want to add a variation here. So, I'm going to copy this variation and then paste this variation. And I'm going to move these notes down. All right. So 
So actually what I'm going to do is utilize these variations. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this, copy variation. I'm going to paste this one on four. Paste. Going to come to one. Copy this variation and paste it on two and three. Now let's go ahead and tweak this melody up here a bit. Let's go ahead and do the same thing we did before. Copy variation. Let's uh, paste this one here. Paste. And paste. And we'll change this one up a bit. This is a A sharp. I'm gonna bring it up to an A sharp. And go ahead and put this on next and let's go back down to this one and let's actually use some type of strum feature I'm gonna solo this and we need to select the notes so I'm gonna select those uh, gonna select the notes make sure it's stopped and then turn it up and now I can strum it so let's see what this sounds like and I'm gonna do the same thing to all of them so if I want to copy the strum settings then I'll just do copy uh, variation go to the second paste go to the third paste then the fourth one is a little different because I changed the notes, but I can easily just drag them back down since everything is moved down a half step. Let's add one more instrument to our sequences, our collection of sequences. We're going to use this piano up here. Alright, with the third instance of the polished up sequencer, I want to utilize the ARP feature. So I'm going to draw my chord here. And I'm going to make it pretty long. Let's have it go all the way up and then hold on this to this right corner and drag it up so I get my chord. And I can drag it up further if I want to. Alright, the start note is D. We want D sharp. So I'm actually going to move it up quite a few octaves. Uh, let's get it on D5. Alright, cool. And let's turn on this ARP feature. Alright, and um, before I turn on the ARP feature, let's add another note. Awesome. This one is random, we got up and down, down. I like this, and we can even add repeats on separate notes, which I did not do, but we can. Uh, we can change the form of the, the chords as well, which would be if it's still a chord. So here, um, sorry, if I change this back to chords, I can drag the form up and change the type of chord that we are playing. However, I will leave this on two and keep the ARP on. can change the width of the notes to make them longer or shorter. Keep in mind that the notes cannot be smaller than what's in the box, but you can add repeats. So if I wanted to, I could click on these notes and add repeats. However, it's an arpeggio, so it's already doing quite a bit of what it should be doing. <laughs> I'm 
gonna go ahead and grab our handy dandy halftime effects cable guys <laughs> Put it on 1.5. Experiment. Let's actually turn down the rate over here to 1 eighth. All right, let's change it to 1 fourth. Now I noticed that it's not necessarily in tune so I will just shorten these and then change the notes manually. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Alright so I'm just going to pull down the width here and Let's go ahead and get the same pattern over here in the next box, the next collection of grids. Same here. And this one I'm going to drop down to the D. Drag up. Drag up. And we notice that each collection of notes, each chord, has its own defined settings here. Put art back on. Hold down shift to select all of them. And I can do different art patterns for each chord. And I leave that how it is. Now we do notice that we have access to velocity here, so we can change the velocity of the notes within the polystep sequencer. We can also use some sort of CV usage and possibly add a filter or anything like that. So if we wanted to do that with this, for example, and modulate something, then we could. Okay, so I just added a Scream 4, and now I'm going to modulate some distortion into our pattern using the CV1 the first CV curve and let's go ahead and get it going to damage control and let's take that into CV1 and I'm gonna put it on tape and let's get something going here <laughs> All right, cool. Let's do that, but keep it less drastic. Um, we'll hit random a few times and then, I guess, tone it down. Then I turn this to the right. So as you can see, we can accomplish a lot in the rack using the polystep sequencer if we so choose to not use the regular sequencer. I believe the polystep sequencer is like the matrix on steroids, given that we have access to not only notes, we can put multiple notes in a place now, as well as CV curves and velocity. Uh, if we take a look at the matrix, we will see the, the similarities between the two and the, the update and improvement so looking at the matrix we see we have the keys here in which we can only put one note on each step and we could not do chords previously now we can and we only had access to one curve now we have two and as far as velocity velocity is always here we could change the steps and we could change the resolution and we had 
four banks of eight patterns, which is essentially the same here. We have four patterns with four variations. I mean, eight patterns with four variations. So as I said, I think it's like the matrix on steroids, which can be, which can be very useful and very helpful in experimentation and quick access to CV and things of that such. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up. <music>